I think this is going to be the last one because, my god, nobody should make as many videos as I've made tonight. Granted, they've been relatively short, I think, but still, shit son. Um, this goes with my first time thing that I'm doing because the cultural influence thing made me think of this, so bear with me. The first time that I really had that aha epiphany moment that all humans are completely connected. Um, I was researching my family history on Ancestry.com. What a fucking pain in the ass that was, by the way. See, here's the thing for anybody who hasn't ever done genealogy stuff. Generally speaking, if your ancestors were poor, you will hit a certain point where you can't trace them anymore because poor people did not really keep records and townspeople didn't really keep records of poor people because why would they do that? And I figured that my family, for the most part, had always been, you know, either not necessarily poor, but working class, I should say, or the, you know, 17th century version of working class. So I figured eventually, probably somewhere around the 17th, 18th century, I would run out of people. I was cool with that. Of course, there are always the branches that you can't find shit for anyway, but as far as the lines that you can, usually they run out about 17th, 16th century. Um, I did not, in a fucking million years, expect to see the name Joanne Plantagenet. As soon as I saw that Plantagenet, I'm like, motherfucker, because I have a lifelong obsession well, okay, not lifelong, since I was 12 years old, with Queen Eleanor of the Aquitaine. So I knew that name. And I'm like, oh my god, I fucking ran into royals. First of all, um, Joanne Plantagenet, her fucking daddy was William Longshanks. And I'm like, no, dude, no. And as if that wasn't bad enough, they are all, you know, direct descendants of John Lackland, Queen Eleanor's least favorite son, for good fucking reason, like, nobody liked John Lackland. Nobody. I just, I was not a happy camper. But, man, I just totally got off topic. Okay, so, I was researching my family history on Ancestry.com. And I had that aha moment where I realized that when we think of a person, we think, oh, they were made by their mom and their dad. Like, they just sprang from two people. That's not it at all. Each one of us, one person, <clears throat> it has taken thousands of people to create that one person. Because it is not just your mom and your dad. It is your mom and your dad and their mom and their dad and all their moms and dad. Thousands of people go into you. Think about that shit. And those thousands of people have thousands if not millions of descendants all around the world that they went into <clears throat> so you have all of these people that you know even though it was 300 years ago there is some part of them that is in you and they could be right now walking around in Spain or in South Africa or in China like you have no idea you know and they're spread all over the globe um, that, that Middle Eastern man that you can't stand because he's Muslim and he gets on your nerves, you know, he could share an ancestor with you. That, like, that's real shit, you know, that, that's reality. And it really makes you think. And then, on top of that, I have many past life experiences that I remember, and I believe in past lives in general. So, you know, in each life, you had parents and you had grandparents and you had brothers and sisters and husbands and wives and all that and those souls some of them could be in your life right now some of them could be out in the world all over the place so you have that spiritual connection to thousands if not millions of people that you have shared a life with at some point between that physical and that spiritual we are all connected in some way whether it's genetically, whether we share lives together, we have all, in some way, 
been connected. And, you know, that, that really makes you think, like, the web of life is a real thing. And when you sit there and you hate the homeless guy on the street because he's fucking asking you for change, you don't stop to consider that that homeless guy on the street that you can't stand because he's asking you for change might have been the love of your life one lifetime ago. Like, you have no idea. Or his great-great-great-grandpa may also be your great-great-great-grandpa. You don't know, you know? And I think that's kind of the point. <laughs> That's the thing that's supposed to bring us all together, is that knowledge. But we have lost that connection with other human beings. There, it, it isn't like it was in the caveman days, where there was, you know, a handful of people. There are millions of, or have we, have we reached billions yet? I'm not sure. I think we might have. I think we're up to like two billion or some shit like that. We will, for the sake of argument, say there are billions of us out there. So, and, you know, we have technology as well, which connects us and separates us simultaneously. We have forgotten something that I believe our ancestors all knew, which is that we are all connected through the web of life one way or another. And uh, that, that moment that I was sitting in that computer chair and that washed over me, that was like, wow. Because it's shit that we know on an intellectual level, like intellectually speaking, we know that we have ancestors and there's a lot of them. But we don't really stop to think about the other descendants of those ancestors and where they might be and who they might be and all that and how that connects us to the web of life and the whole planet and our whole human race. Um, and there are a lot of things like that. That's part of why I'm doing these videos. Because I've had a lot of those aha moments where it's shit that I've known on an intellectual level, but it never hit me until that moment. Um, yeah, so that was my aha moment about how we are all connected one way or another. Uh, if you have had such an aha moment, leave it in the comments or post a reply. Um, love you guys. Mm-hmm. <laughs>